Now, sales is about persuasion. And I want to be very clear. Persuasion is not manipulation. We're not manipulating people. You are asking questions and you are holding an energy and space that allows the other person to persuade themselves. And there's a huge difference, okay? There's a big, big difference in you persuading somebody to do what you want them to do and them persuading themselves to do what they want to do. The first thing that I want to do is I want to talk really quick. I'm going to give you guys like a quick rundown of human behavior sales principles, okay? These are basic like 101 human behavior sales principles, right? We all know, and I say this all the time, that selling only comes down to one thing, literally. If you think of sales in a nutshell, it's effective communication. 90% of the world does not know how to effectively communicate. We know how to communicate. We've done that our whole lives. But a lot of us do not have a background, we do not have an education, and we don't have experience in effective communication, right? For those of you that are moms or parents, or you have a psychology background or anything like that, you understand that it's not about really what you're saying to people, it's really how you're saying it to people, right? It is the way in which you're saying things to people. If I want my kids to go to bed at a certain time, I can say, hey, you're going to go to bed and do as I say, and you're going to do it right now. And I'm probably going to get a lot of kickback for that, right? That's not the way to get what you want. Now, sales is about persuasion. And I want to be very clear. Persuasion is not manipulation. We're not manipulating people. You are asking questions and you are holding an energy and space that allows the other person to persuade themselves. And there's a huge difference, okay? There's a big, big difference in you persuading somebody to do what you want them to do and them persuading themselves to do what they want to do. There's a big, big difference, right? So we want to think about the conversations that we're having and really how are we empowering how are we empowering the people we are talking to to come to their own decision? A sale is so much better when they do that themselves, right? It doesn't feel good for you guys to be like convincing, negotiating, almost like manipulating them, not intentionally, but it's like, oh my gosh, what do I need to do to get you to see that this is the solution? Or how can I get you to see it? Those are probably not the best mindsets for you guys to have when it comes to sales because one, it's not going to feel good to you but it doesn't work because it increases the other person's sales resistance. They feel backed in a corner. Get out of the ring and take your, take your boxing gloves on because we're not fighting for sales here. It's ridiculous. It's a very negative energy for everybody and it doesn't work. You'll get a sale once in a while by luck and by chance by doing that. But you can increase your conversions naturally and massively by holding space and learning how to effectively communicate in a persuasive way to get people to come to their own decision that they want to do this, okay? First and foremost, you've got to learn effective communication. Now, there's a big, big reason why we have playbooks, templates, and swipe copy. Huge reason. It isn't because we want you to copy us ver verbatim because that would be weird. None of you are me and I am not you and you guys are not each other. That's odd. And that's going to be very weird and uncomfortable and it's not going to work. But the reason we provide those is frameworks. I'm providing them so you can see what I say and how I say it and how I frame it up and the way that I like map it out in a way that literally is persuading them to make their own decision. If you guys read my content, what does it do? It gets people to move. Number one, it gets them to move. People read my content, whether it's one, one sentence or 10 paragraphs, and they move. It moves them. And the second thing is it gets them to change the way they think about everything I teach. If you read any of my content, you can look on my personal Facebook profile. You'll be moved. You'll be changed. You'll be like, whoa, okay, I'm thinking differently. There's no way it wouldn't because it's human behavior language period. That is my 20 years of education. It is human behavior language. It's not a strategy. And I want to be really, really clear about that because some of you guys are like, oh, what is this strategy? Just tell me how to do it. This is a skill. This you have to build. I didn't get here in 20 years because I just picked a book up or something. I've been practicing this for 20 years and you guys are going to have to practice this. 
I'm giving you a shortcut because I'm kind of giving you the words and the language and how to do it, which I had to spend 20 years learning. But what I'm telling you guys is if you just start infusing these frameworks in this language into what you're doing, you're just going to see a massive difference without doing anything additional. So I can't stress how important the workbooks are the, or the playbooks, the templates, the frameworks, the swipe. Like if you're not using those, you're literally reinventing and recreating the wheel and making this like harder, okay? I want you to lean into it because here's what you might not know. Every single thing in the membership site, everything. If you just listen, I have infused human behavior language and framework into all of it. So if you follow it, you're naturally going to be learning human behavior and you probably don't even realize it. So it is a skill, right? It's about how we speak to people. It's the words that you use. You know, words mean different things to people. They make you feel certain ways, right? You can make someone feel very negative in a conversation with you or feel like they're being, you know, like maybe you're insulting them or you're criticizing them or you're making assumptions about them or you're telling them, you know, you're calling their baby ugly. What I mean when I say that is you're basically like, you suck, you're doing it wrong and you're never going to get your results because insert whatever you think. That's disgusting, it's nasty, and nobody's interacting positively with that kind of content, right? So the way in which you're saying what you're saying is triggering your audience to pull back or lean in. So if you're an expert and people should pay you, then you know how to talk about what you do. The problem is, is you don't know how to say what you're trying to say. And that's the problem, okay? So that's where these frameworks and these templates come in because I've infused the human behavior language in all of it. Okay, it kind of eliminates the guesswork, so to speak, okay? And your tone, guys, your tone plays a big, big, big part in the energy that gets portrayed when you're having a conversation. If you're yelling and they're really calm and quiet, you're not mirroring them at all. You have to learn how to read a room. Part of good sales is you can read the room. And part of reading the room is you need to, you need to be able to capture the energy and the essence in the room naturally without being weird about it. You need to be able to capture the energy in the room. And that comes with practice. Again, these are not strategies. There's no way that I can be like, here's how you do that. It's that you need to learn how to exit your emotions and your attachment to what's going on around you and zoom out about a thousand miles and look down and read the room. Right. So it's almost like an out of body experience, sort of, because when you're in your body in these, you can't see the label in the bottle. Right. And so what happens is you make assumptions, you criticize and you blanket everybody. You put everybody into this one bubble and then people are insulted or people say, no, that's not really my experience. No, that's not me, because what you're doing is you're not zooming out and reading the room. You're just like, hey guys, everyone here is struggling with this and I have, an, I have a solution, right? You need to know how to read a room and you need to capture and mirror the energy. If your room is very quiet and low and soft, then you need to be quiet, low and soft. If your room is much more like loud and they're dropping emojis or they're people that are really expressive, then you need to learn how to be really expressive, right? You need to learn how to do that because it's awkward otherwise. If you get in a conversation with someone and you're way up here and you're doing all this, ah, and they're like, oh my God, I don't know. And they're shrunk in their chair. You are going to intimidate them. They're going to pull back. They're not leaning in. They're going to pull back. And they're going to be like, this is so good, but I have to get off this. I don't know. I have to think about it. Objection. Not because they don't want the solution, but because you're not mirroring the energy because you're not reading the room. You're so focused on, I need the sale. You have to learn how to detach. It, sales is not about you at all. It is about the other person, okay? And sales is a contact sport, by the way. So it requires two minimum people in proximity with a two-way dialogue. A sale cannot happen if we don't have that. So sales is about, it's a contact sport, requires a minimum of two people. Unless you're selling to yourself and pulling out your credit card to pay yourself. It requires a minimum of two people, which means you and the other person need to both be in proximity in a conversation. If you are kind of standing over people and you're screaming down at them and they're drawing back and shrinking down, that is not proximity. That is, you're not getting a sale doing that, right? That's not proximity. And that's a good indication you don't know how to read a room and hold the proper space. This is why we encourage you guys to get on calls and get on video because it's the best way for you to learn how to do this. It's the best way to get out of your comfort zone and learn how to effectively communicate.
okay? You want to know the number one way to never be broke again in your life? Learn how to sell. If you can effectively communicate, you can sell anything to anyone in any industry. I could make millions of dollars. I've been a top seller in every company I've ever worked for. I could literally sell cars. I could sell a house. I could sell product. I could sell anything. I will never financially be broke. I could enter any industry and I could sell. That's a skill. And trust me, you want that.